I'll be showing you how to program the STM32F103CAT6 microcontroller. You can find one in eBay. Uh, also, I'll be using the ST32 ST link uh, in, uh, to uh, program, write the code into the uh, chip. And finally, uh, micro C free version. Okay, like I wrote over here, it can cover beginner to intermediate level jobs, and that you can do just with the free version. This is the SD link, and for that one, we're going to be using these three, four little pins, which are going to be connecting, as the label said, so that we can write code to our chip. This is the uh, full blown out picture of all the capabilities of the uh, uh, chip. Uh, once we got today, we're going to be concentrating on just simply activating a uh, port B8. Over here in this corner, we're gonna put a push button, and then based on that, uh, some the li a light at pin 14, B14, is gonna be blinking. How to program a microcontroller? I do need to show. I need, we need to go over a few things, okay, so that you understand what is what is this RCC, AP, B2, and so on and so forth. Okay, so. And I go switch windows over here, and this is what's called the memory map, okay? In the memory map, it tells me the location of all the libraries. This is page 49 and page 50. Uh, and out of the memory map, I got a, uh, this, uh, this RCC uh, reset and control clock, okay? That is address, as you can see over there, that's a starting address, that's the ending address. And within inside there, there is several, li uh, a sev several uh, actual addresses okay so this is RCC it's just a list a group of addresses I just listed a few of them over here and out of these ones we only care about a particular uh, address which is the RCC uh, underscore AP2 um, as you see over there APB2 EN, ENR okay and that's because that one is the one that controls my input uh, see you got to turn in the the clock for the uh, particular port and I want to use port B okay so by the way if you want to do uh, if, if, if you want to uh, do all style reference the library or not the library the uh, register okay you will take this number and you add it to the to, to the offset since this lib since this particular register within the RCC is offset 18 and I'll show you what that means over there so you add those two numbers together and and then in the micro C you can do because you can do pointers of micro C you can do uh, the start to, to let them know that it's obviously you have to declare it as an integer okay with a pointer and then you just simply name it I, I could call this my name Okay, as long as it has a dot and it's an integer equal to this, and micro C knows that every time I'm gonna be using that, it's gonna be referencing this particular address and memory, which happens to be this register over here. Okay, but in micro C, we're not, uh, um, even though in micro C, we could do something like this, okay, well, we're gonna be shifting three, Y3, I'll show you on the data sheet, uh, uh, because this register over here, it is, uh, uh, is telling me that pin number three it references it activates uh the b port okay uh, so that the b port has a clock enable okay but uh, in micro c we could do that but uh, we are not going to do that because that silliness micro c is, is is meant to make life much easier okay and i'm just gonna switch back to my code over here and micro c just makes it very easy i could have just referenced the library something like this rcc and the name of the library just as it appears in a data sheet in uh, ENR, and I could just say this is equal to one shift three, okay, and make a comment that, you know, this activates port B, but that's just like I said, that's just silliness. Micro C just gives us the ability. All you have to do is, is anytime that we want to reference a particular bit within a, within any register and, and uh, in the whole data sheet applicable to this ones, all you gotta do is uh, reference the 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 name or the structure of the or the group of library or, or the group of registers, the register itself, and then the write the word bit. Okay, lower, uppercase doesn't matter. Okay, and then uh, it's gonna micro C is gonna give you the option. Hey, within that this register happen to have all of these um, bits. Okay, I could just simply say this bit over here. 
uh, hit enter and then say that's equal to one and it's already set if i really want it but i'm gonna delete that because that was an example that i was using uh we're not using that right now we just um, simply want to activate uh port b as uh clock enable and that's what it is now we're gonna go back to uh here uh, to our, our data sheet and remember this register over here the the, the one that we're talking about the, it activates, uh, it, it has the ability to activate uh, port register A, B, C, and D. And that is that with that. Let's continue going. All right, so this is back to the register map. This is page 50. And notice that uh, these are all the possible libraries for all of the chips. Obviously this chip that we're dealing with only has port A, port B, and port C. And port C only has like three ports, but, I was, but we still got it treated as a 16 digit or as a string pin port, even though uh, only ports 14 and 16 are the only ones that I use. But uh, uh, what is inside of those libraries? Uh, so port G library has a whole bunch of, uh, I'm sorry, port B, port G at this address, there is a whole bunch of registers. And this is a list of a few of those registers. Okay, you will find those registers in every single port at the particular addresses that got over there. So port E has the same registers, port C has the same registers. And, and as a matter of fact, today we were just dealing with port B and that's what we're concerned about. Okay, now we're gonna talk about these registers in here, the ones that are listed are the most important ones that we need to understand, okay, to be able to, pro to program and make a light blink. Out of that, this is the same list of regist registers that I just have a few, few moments ago. And out of this, uh, the first two, these two registers, uh, they they control our mode, okay? Whether if we're gonna be uh, pulling up, pulling down, if it's gonna be an input, if it's gonna be an output for a particular register. So we're gonna focus on those two. And for that, uh, it gets, uh, oh, sure. Uh, this is on here what I needed to, uh, sorry what I showed you a moment ago. This is what I wanted, this is, this is how you control the registers. Now, notice that there is four pins. Now, each register uh, is a is a 32-bit, 32, 32 but if you divide 32 divided by four, that only gives you pretty much eight, okay? So, control our CRL, it allows you to control bits zero, one, two, all the way through eight, okay? Well, actually seven, okay? Because it starts at zero, and then bit seven would be, uh, you know, the eight bit. Uh, and then after that, uh, CRH allows you to control the uh, the, the upper lower uh, of the register of port B. All of this is to control register B, I mean uh, uh, port B, okay? And uh, this first four over here, it controls the uh, bits that is gonna be according to this uh, table over here, is gonna be determining uh, we're gonna, what we're gonna be putting over here. So if I do zero, one, if I put a one over here and this zero over here, I just simply go back over here and cheat. And I'm saying that I'm doing an alternate function and push B. That is if I was to put a one over here and a zero. And then if I do one, one, okay, what does that one, one means? I did not put the other part, but if you go to table one, one, it tells you that uh, the, the speed is like uh, 50,000 uh, megahertz, which it uses a lot of power, okay? But uh, for most projects, you don't have to use that. And most projects, you don't have to worry about power. But anyway, uh, that is those two registers, okay? Today, we're gonna be uh, using uh, port, uh, I believe it's port eight. We're gonna be using, you're gonna see me in a moment, reference to port uh, mode D, which is the H. Remember, we're gonna, be, we're gonna see this. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, later on in here, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna be using CRH bit mode eight and B2, by the way, this over here is hexadecimal. Uh, this over here means uh, is the same thing as zero, zero. And then um, a two, uh, I forget what two it is, but you know what? I'm just gonna go cheat over here, uh, type in, uh, in hexadecimal two, and that is equal to one, one, zero. So this over here is what I'm, um, yeah. by the way, I'm gonna lower this over here, this tool that I had. Okay, and notice that I use a comment over here. So that's what I'm putting inside there. So uh, if I'm doing 0, 0, 0010, then if I go back to my data, uh, to this screen over here, what I'm gonna say is that for mode, I think a mode was, I said, uh, 
it, it was 10 so that 10 is just the speed and then uh, if I do 0 0 in CNF oh I believe uh, this one over here if I do 0 0 over here what does 0 0 means it says 0 0 uh, that means uh, it's gonna be general purpose output or oh, oh, input okay all right oh sure you know what I've made a mistake I uh, I think I did put 0 0 in my mode okay that's what it is okay and that means an input if you put zero zero on the mode that makes it an input and if, if and then the 10 goes over here which uh it means uh either or in this case would be uh push pull okay so we we configure a push pull and input mode all right so uh what's next now we're gonna talk about uh the lower uh so we're gonna go back over here and we're still talking about uh this place over here now we're gonna concentrate about these guys over here okay and those guys over there gonna go back over here uh is these registers over here okay i label them in here so you can see them okay and this so this register over here it controls my my input so every any time today we're gonna be sampling this this bit over here if uh if it get a one okay that means the push button is pressed if it is not a one over here and it's only a read mode okay, a read only register okay and then on a register 14 uh for the output uh, we're gonna be and by the way uh, remember all registers port b port a port uh, all of them they got this set of registers so today we're gonna be addresses in port b uh, and we're going to be controlling port B uh, by uh, reading at, at this pin over here or IDR, okay, for the push button. And then uh, pin 14 is the one that I'm going to be using to flag. So whenever you put a one over here, uh, that's when the LED is going to come out because the LED is connected to port uh, 14, okay, 14B okay that is the case okay now how do we control that there is this voter register okay so if i put a one uh so i'm, I'm gonna clean all that up and then if i put a one here at, at at this bit okay or this register okay that causes a one to be put over here so so this register over here is just a, another way of controlling uh the output register okay then what happens if i want to make that one into a zero okay remember one is a five okay i just simply either put a one down here oh shoot that was too fast okay uh either put a one over here at the lower so this over here controls uh if you put a one over here in any of these ones it will control the corresponding one of these ones will make it into a zero if you go to the upper uh, half or this register bsr bsrr if you put a one over here it will cost to put a one over here so this means this over here is uh high five volts out or three volt 3.3 volts out and this one over here zero volts in now there is another register brr b uh, bit reset register it does the same thing as this lower register so this one over here and this one's over here they do absolutely the same if i put a one over here i'm gonna show you okay uh it does put a zero over here okay so i put a one over here that means a zero over here if i put a one over here a zero over here or if i put a one over here that means this will be coming to a one like it was a few moments ago okay and that is those registers okay make sure you understand them really well before you uh move on to uh the program okay now this is back over here at the program okay and as i said you know so in this part of the of the code okay this over here is where we are setting up our configuration registers okay uh so in the first one uh we activated the clock on the second one we put this uh four 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 four, four and that is uh that is uh making sure that every bit is on the reset okay reset uh what is four 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 i'm gonna need to go cheat again and i'm gonna go to binary to decimally delete what i got over there and i put four and pretty much uh four is equal to zero zero one zero so every time um all of these fours uh what it means is really that okay now uh, as you see that is this four over here but this other four is going to be another zero one one uh zero and so on so forth okay and that is what we put into register uh b 
uh, a port B uh, register um, CRL, the lower level, just to reset uh, all the bits. Okay, uh, you know what? I made a mistake. Uh, not I made a mistake, but you know, this 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 step is not required. Okay, this is just something for sanity check. Just make sure that you do not make any mistakes. Uh, 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 that you don't assume that the registers are clean and ready to go on a uh, reset step. So we are forcing them to reset. So in here I'm resetting the lower side and here I'm resetting the high side. Now if I delete all of this over here, the program might still run really well. It's just a good practice to put them, uh, you force them encode to be in the reset value. Then over here come in and we set the mode, okay. Uh, uh, like I said, mode 00, zero uh, it means that it's an input okay input okay that's what i i decided uh to be the uh, uh, that particular pin and then i'm here a mode when i say uh zero two earlier i show you that zero two that's what zero, uh, zero two is in binary okay that is when you are saying that that is an output okay and what kind of output is uh we're gonna go back to the data sheet okay just if uh, just stay with me for a moment and that was a 10 right so what, 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 I cannot find this, uh, 160, I think it is, ah, there it is. Okay, and uh, for the output, one zero means a, a push-pull. Okay, so that's what it was. Okay, we're gonna go back over here, and then this is a push-pull configuration. Okay, now uh, the zero, a, in here in CNF uh, 14, uh, actually I don't remember, but you can just go back to the data sheet and I just know that this part of the code works over here, okay? Now, notice over here, uh, there is this variable, okay? Time delay, okay? That I initialize all the way here, and by the way, it's an in type, okay? And that, uh, what it does, I'm just putting a thousand over here, and I'm gonna be using for my uh, time delay, okay? As you already know, there is a while loop, okay? And while loops, uh, well, you know, I just don't have time to explain how C program works, but you, if you put a while in here, this over here, it means like, hey, as long as it's true, as long as it's one, which is gonna be forever. So this is what is called the forever loop, okay? And remember to use your brackets, okay? And now the program starts. And here comes in, uh, back again to that uh, uh, port B, okay, the bit, uh, the, 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 the set register bit, okay, 14, we're gonna be putting a one, okay, that turns the LED, and then later on, uh, we go and we go to the bit reset, and we put a one in there to turn it off, okay, so this one over here is, it puts a zero on, on what is called the ODR register, and this one over here, it, it causes to put a one, oh, man, didn't mean that, uh, it puts a one in the ODR register, okay? Here, at this point on, I'm just gonna make a comment, and here we're sampling, we're sampling the IDR register, okay? And we are, uh, point, uh, which is bit number eight, okay? And uh, so that's what, uh, uh, that's what we're doing in here. That's what the, all this reference was, okay? Like I said, get familiar with this uh, sheet, these uh, registers. Okay, back to the code over here, and then, uh, and here I ask a question. If if there is a one in this one over here, you're gonna do a time delay. So whenever the push button is pressed, the this instruction is gonna be carried out, and this this instruction all it's gonna do is it's gonna be um, uh, put, put in a one second delay. Okay, later on it's gonna ask is the push button is still press, and if it's still press, it's gonna do this this one second delay. Okay, otherwise what's gonna happen is that the the um, the port is gonna be energized. Uh, high 3.3 volts and then it's going to be energized low and it's going to be so fast that the light is going to stay on the whole time because we're not going to be able to see it uh turn it off and on okay whenever we push the push button we are just uh, initiating the delay okay and this is simply the code that we are using like i said it just works out of the box and now let's see uh, the light blinking <laughs> 